Progress in Mali has been slow but sure, though concerns are being raised about extremist attacks, mainly in the north of the country. We've seen some very unwelcome developments in the past months. Extremist groups maintain a presence and activities in the north, even if weaker than before. MINUSMA has lost four peacekeepers in asymmetric attacks, and an inclusive peace process is also needed to leave no room for such spoilers. Since the peacekeeping mission was created in April last year, only 5,488 military personnel have deployed, a shortfall of more than half the anticipated troop requirements for the country. We have uh, received uh, commitments uh, from many different countries, including China, including the Netherlands, including El Salvador, which uh, brings me to the conclusion that at the moment we have 90% of the needed forces are committed. Now the question is now the pace of deployment in the next couple of, of, of uh, weeks and months. Uh, and uh, I think we all urge the troop contributing countries and those who support the troop contributing countries. With French troops expected to scale back their numbers in the coming months. Mali does have the beginnings of a success story, a return to constitutionality and much progress on the humanitarian front. But these gains could be undermined if a full complement of UN troops do not deploy to the country soon, so as to create an environment that is conducive to peace talks and reconciliation between the newly installed government and parties, including the Taurigs, based in the north of the country. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.